Hello and welcome back. The third type of capacitor that we will talk about is smoothing capacitor. But what exactly is a smoothing capacitor? Well, it's nothing else but a capacitor that acts to smooth or even out fluctuations in a signal. The most common and used application for smoothing capacitors is after a power supply voltage or a rectifier. Power supply voltage can sometimes supply erratic and uh, unsmooth voltages that fluctuate greatly. When a steady DC signal is needed and is necessary, a smoothing capacitor is the right component needed in order to smooth out the fluctuating signal to make it more steady. We will go over an example of this now. A prime example of when a smoothing capacitor is used is in conjunction with a rectifier circuit. If you place a resistor in series with a diode and then input an AC signal into the circuit, the output signal will look something like this. Now, if you place a smoothing capacitor in parallel with the diode, like this, the resulting waveform will be... You can see now how much smoother the waveform is. It no longer goes all the way down to zero and back up. The capacitor charges up from 0 to the top of the waveform and then discharges from 0 to the bottom of the waveform. This charging and the discharging smooths out the waveform so that it doesn't hit the extreme ups and downs. As a result, a smoothing capacitor is extremely useful in uh, cases of fluctuating signals that need to be more constant and steady. Usually, when choosing a smoothing capacitor, an electrolytic capacitor is used from anywhere from 10 microfarads to a few thousands of microfarads. The greater the amplitude of the fluctuations and the greater the waveform, the larger capacitor will be necessary. As a result, if you are smoothing a, let's say, 30 millivolts waveform, a 10 microfarad capacitor may suffice to smooth out the signal. However, if you are dealing with a much greater signal, you will need a much larger capacitor, say maybe 3300 microfarad, in order to smooth it out to a near DC level. Experiment with the capacitor and check the signal on an oscilloscope to see which capacitor suffices best and is best for the circuit at hand. 